Jerry, uh, Sir Jeko. Hello, Sir Jeko. So maybe Sir Jeko is not around. So we will proceed with Confederation College to have a presentation, sir. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, my name is Min and I am a school representative of Confederation College. And I'm very happy to be here to go back here. Uh, with Phil Global for today's event. And that's my great pleasure for me to, to, to start the presentation. Uh, I am going to share the screen. Okay, yeah. Um, so for any uh, international student who wants to go to Canada for education, so ed education is the first priority. However, they also have another design to do in Canada, that is the, to look for the uh, permanent residence in the future. And uh, Canada now is really, really friendly to welcome new immigrants. As you know, uh, during the pandemic, uh, Canada has a lot of policy to support international students because they really want to keep them there to support, to contribute to, uh, to Canada in general. And uh, in Canada, uh, there are so many different streams to support uh, international students after graduation to look for the PR, including the federal streams, uh, a provincial nominee stream, and also the stream just cover some certain places in Canada. And as you know that um, Confederation College in Thunder Bay is covered by the newest immigration stream that is RIP. And that is so wonderful just because the requirement is very, very low. And it seems that the requirement really welcome our immigrants in Thunder Bay. So as a student, uh, taking a program at Confederation College after graduation, you will have a lot of benefit um, to, to, to apply under this immigration stream and in the future to, uh, to, uh, to be uh, a member of uh, the community in the debate. So that's really important. Uh, because of the success in the, the last year, 2020, uh, so this year, the local authority in the debate decided to increase the seat uh, for uh, RNIP in Thunder Bay. So for this year, 150% of seat has increased uh, compared to last year. And we open uh, all categories for students. So in last year, just some priority occupation are okay to apply for PR under RNIP. However, uh, for this year, 2021, all students uh, graduating from 100% of Confederation College programs can apply for PR under RIP. And for the new um, immigration stream in uh, 2021, um, in Thunder Bay, RIP does not require any age. So there is no age limit at all. Uh, you are 18 years old, you are over 70 years old, you are all fine under RIP here. And if you graduate from a two years program, then you don't need to show the working experience. You don't need to show the language requirement. And uh, under RIP, the, the language requirement for all applicants in Thunder Bay is just uh, 5.5. So it's very, very easy for you because when you apply for the college, the school accepts uh, you as, uh, uh, as an international student and after graduation, your English is also very good. And if you apply under RIP from uh, as a Confederation College graduate, then yeah, the English requirement is waived for you. So you don't need to worry about this. Um, and uh, just uh, to say that after graduation with uh, the job offer um, in Thunder Bay with the program you are you graduate from Thunder Bay, then you are okay to apply for RIP in Thunder Bay. And um, beside of the wonderful information about the immigration, uh, Thunder Bay is also a very good place for you to come there to, to, to stay, to study, and then in the future to settle down, to settle down your life. Uh, we have so many information 
First, uh, Thunder Bay is the most uh, vibrant city in Northwest Ontario. And uh, uh, we are just a wait from Toronto 90 minutes uh, uh, using the flight because like uh, Canada is so large from this city to another city, it's not easy to use a car to travel here and there. Uh, so from this city, if you want to go to another city, usually uh, the common uh, public transportation is uh, using the flight. And from Toronto to Thunder Bay, there are about 17 to 18 flight movement every day. And our international airport in Thunder Bay is considered the third largest international airport in Ontario. And uh, Thunder Bay shared the, the borders with the state from Confederation College International students just drive a car in about uh, 15 to 20 minutes uh, to go to Minnesota in order like uh, to to play uh, chess uh, to, uh, to to explore the state, uh, which is very close to uh, Confederation College. And Thunder Bay is the second happiest city in Canada. Can you imagine that? Canada is so big and there are many cities, but Thunder Bay is the second happiest one just because of so many uh, wonderful criteria there. Like um, it's very safe, like uh, the living standard there is very good, like the income in general is very good, like the weather, a lot of criteria makes uh, Thunder Bay the second happiest city in Canada. And um, um, is it large? Yes, Thunder Bay is so large. Um, if we compare the size between Thunder Bay and the Philippines, we have the, the double size of your country in general. And so can you imagine that? It's so huge. And um, there we have the inland, the, the, the largest inland port of the world in the world right in Thunder Bay. So that's why uh, students graduating from business program will have a lot of job opportunity in Thunder Bay, um, especially students taking international business management. And uh, we are among top 10 of outdoor activity cities in Canada. So uh, there are a lot of activities in, even in the winter or even in the summertime. Uh, Thunder Bay is also the tourist attraction area for people uh, in Canada and in North America to come there to explore uh, our landscape. Um, we have a uh, sleeping giant. Uh, that is the uh, number one natural wonder in Canada. So as you may know that in Canada, there are seven natural wonders and Thunder Bay is ranked number one out of seven wonders. And uh, Confederation College has nine campuses along one side of the lake in Siberia and is the largest uh, freshwater lake of the world. You cannot imagine how large it is just because if you take a car to drive around this lake, uh, it takes you three days to finish only one round of the lake. It's so huge. And because of this lag, the temperature, the weather in Thunder Bay is very, very comfortable, uh, especially during the winter time. Um, Thunder Bay is quite developed. So that's why uh, we have uh, the economy there is very good. That creates a lot of jobs for students after, graduate, uh, after graduation from uh, the college. Also, uh, students can find it easy to have part-time jobs during the time they study a program at our school. And Thunder Bay is also a very wonderful place because the living expenses there is also very, very affordable. I, I just give some example, like if you want to rent a room in Thunder Bay, you need to pay about 400 to 450 Canadian dollar for one room. And if you, you rent uh, the room with the same size in Thunder Bay, in Toronto or in Vancouver, then you have to pay about 1,200 Canadian dollar for that room. So if you live in Thunder Bay, you save a lot. Uh, and if you want to buy groceries for a week in Thunder Bay, you need to, uh, you need to uh, have about 40 Canadian dollars in order to have enough grocery for a week. So it means that in, in four weeks a month, make it a month, and then you need to pay for only 200 Canadian dollar. So, uh, 
And as you know, like the part-time job uh, can give you the minimum salary of 14 Canadian dollar for one hour of working. So if you work about three hours uh, in a week, then you have enough money for buying grocery for that week. And as an international student in Thunder Bay, you are allowed to work part-time 20 hour um, per week. And during your holiday, during the summer break, you are allowed to work full-time. That's really, really interesting. Mm. The weather in Thunder Bay is uh, also good uh, because we are in Ontario and uh, Thunder Bay is considered the sunniest city in Eastern Canada. And um, uh, every year we have more than 305 days of sunshine. It means that you have the sun in the early morning until about 9, 10 p.m. when you finish everything, when you finish the school, you then you start uh, to work some part-time and then you finish it to go back you, to your room, you still have the sun, it's all bright. Then why do you choose Confederation College? Uh, first of all, uh, Confederation College is a public school uh, established in 1967. When you go to Canada, um, you should have the priority for the public uh, institution just because uh, this kind of institution will give you the postgraduate work permit after graduation up to um, three years because that would be very valuable for you to find jobs and then to apply for the permanent residence. Second, in this big area, there is a combo of a college, confederation college and a university, Lakehead University, our neighbor. So from our college, you need to walk in 15 minutes to go to Lakehead University. That is a research university after graduation from Confederation College. If students want to further education to higher level, um, then Lakehead University is their choice. Um, our school is very flexible to support the graduate, to support the mature student uh, for two options. Uh, we will uh, provide two letters of acceptance for one applications in order to support you with the visa application and with actual study. For example, like uh, you have the background in business, but you want to change to another program. Then we can support you with uh, two letter of acceptance for a postgraduate uh, program in business and another program like uh, culinary management so that you can have two options for you when you apply for visa and for actual study purpose. Mm, we also issue the conditional offer for students when you don't have all enough uh, document uh, requested by uh, the college. Um, if you choose, um, uh, Phil Global as an agent, and because uh, Phil Global is our authorized agent, then the application uh, fee is waived. If you contact uh, the college directly to start the application, then you have to pay for 95 Canadian dollar for the application fee. However, if you go with Phil Global, then it is free on free, including the deferral uh, fee is also uh, free for you. And we waive IELTS, no IELTS at all for all program for a hundred percent program when you start application at Confederation College. Mm. The key point uh, for Thunder Bay and Confederation College is that the public transportation there is free. Can you imagine that? That's so wonderful, right? Um, if you stay there for a year, then you can save up to $1,500 Canadian dollar. Because if you live in other city every month, you have to pay for $122 Canadian dollar for using the public transportation. However, if you live in Thunder Bay uh, as an international student, you just show the student ID card and you take a bus to go everywhere in that huge area. You can use the bus to go to the church, to go to the market, to go to work, to go to school, and it's all free for you. Uh, the healthcare insurance is already included in the tuition uh, fee, so you don't need to worry about this when you are an international student. And as an international student, when you arrive in Thunder Bay, finishing the, the quarantine, then to take the vaccine 
in um, in Thunder Bay and it's on free for international students currently uh, because we expect all uh, domestic people and international uh, students will have uh, the vaccination and then it's on safe to travel here and there in Thunder Bay. Uh, because of the, the, the rate uh, student who have taken the vaccine. Um, so uh, up to um, uh, September 2021, we have some program which is uh, over, over the, the, uh, the blended uh, teaching method uh, for uh, uh, four semesters. And we still remain some uh, programs which are totally online uh, to support students who cannot go to Canada. Mm, we do have the residents. Students can live in the dormitory right on the campus. And uh, we also have the homestay for people who want to, 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 to live with Canadian families. Uh, we also recommend students to rent a room outside the college just because it's very easy to find a room there. And also is, uh, is very affordable for you. Um, renting a room in Thunder Bay is quite convenient because then you can take a bus to go to work even when you finish your uh, um, your job placement, uh, your co-op, your internship really late at night, you can come back to your room easily. Now we do have the Filipino um, uh, communities and also Filipino students there in Thunder Bay and you do not feel lonely when you are a newcomer in Thunder Bay. Usually Filipino students will give you a ride uh, around uh, or they can give you the airport big cup uh, when you just arrive in Thunder Bay. Um, at Confederation College, we support students a lot. Uh, we do have many job fairs and job centers for students to support international students first to find part-time jobs and then to find um, a full-time job right after graduation. We, we really want, we really expect to have you as a graduate living in, uh, in Thunder Bay rather than moving to other cities just because we want you as a part of our community. We do have the entry scholarship from uh, 500 to 1,000 Canadian dollar for um, any uh, new applicant. Uh, so for detailed information, I think you should book uh, the consultation with a uh, few global right after the webinar today. Um, in front of you are the programs. We have so many programs for you. So as I mentioned, that any student can get to letter of acceptance. Even the fair today is for the business and uh, culinary and uh, some other related uh, program. However, if you have different background, you still have uh, the way to go to Canada under um, uh, Confederation College. So if you have the background in business, uh, that's on fine, but if you have different background, then we can find uh, a program which match to your education background, and then you can choose a program in business in culinary management uh, for you, uh, you know, for the actual study purpose. Uh, we have a list of programs in aviation, in engineering, IT, civil engineering, uh, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, or instrumentation engineering. Uh, we have a list of skill trades in uh, carpentry, in mechanical technique, in motive power technique, uh, welding techniques. Um, we have a list of postgraduate programs um, opening for September, for, um, for January, or even in May. Uh, so for postgraduate program, usually we will have three in text for you in a year. And uh, you will view the list of program here. This is the column for the duration of the program. The program, the program can be in one year or two years or even in three years. And here's the annual fee, including the tuition fee and ancillary fee. Everything is here for a year, including two semester. For business program, as you can see, there's a list of options for you. We have business fundamental in the year starting in September and January. We have uh, so many options in accounting, in human resource management, in marketing. For the certificates, uh, for diploma and advanced diplomas levels. For postgraduate program, we have four here. Uh, digital marketing and marketing analytics uh, start in, starting in September, January, and May. And that is a three, sorry, a two years program. 
and he's the tuition fee for a year. We also have health informatics. This program is quite unique. We accept students with a background business. Uh, we have human resource management. We also have international business management, as you can see. So a lot of programs, postgraduate program open in three in Texas in a year. And uh, we also have uh, um, culinary management for the hospitalities program. We also have uh, um, uh, um, tourism and eco adventure for uh, um, Confederation College. However, because under the pandemic, the program is suspended just because uh, that program requires a lot of internship and co-op. And you know that the, the pandemic is also in Canada. So uh, there's no tourist uh, at all. So that's why a student cannot take the, uh, the co-op and the work placement. That's why this year we, we decided to suspend the program tourism and eco-adventure. But in the future, we hope to, to see, to, 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 to get it back. Uh, for many other options, we also have programs in media apps. We also have natural resources programs. Uh, for the application, we require students to, to upload um, the high school diploma and transcript for uh, any certificate, diploma, and advanced diploma program. For postgraduate program, we require students to have the university diploma and transcript. We also need to see your passport. And of course, there is no age limit at all. And we waive IELTS for all kind of uh, students who want to apply for 100% of program at Confederation College. We also accept um, uh, high school graduate uh, from the old curriculum. It means that you graduate uh, from your high school, which is grade 10, but we accept you uh, to apply directly into a program. We want to see your CV because we want to know that you have the working experience in two years for the program you are going to apply for. For example, like you want to take uh, marketing. We want to see if you have two years working experience in marketing, if you are uh, a mature student graduate, uh, from graduating from the old curriculum program. And after receiving the offer, we, uh, um, we require students to pay for the one semester tuition fee for the deposit. And this is the refundable fee uh, because when you have problem with your visa, then you can require uh, the college to refund uh, this, fund, uh, this, this fee back to you. Mm, I would like to show one thing uh, for you. Um, that is very special just for this year, because uh, as you know, there's a pandemic in Canada and we, we are in shortage of the, 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 the labor in health uh, programs. So that's why this year we decided to open um, practical nursing for just a Filipino student only. So we still have some limited seat uh, for September 2021. Uh, if you have the background in, in health, uh, in bioscience, in uh, biology, then you are fine to apply directly into this program and we waive IL if you apply for practical nursing. And you know that we have an open uh, practical nursing for international students until this fall 2021. And this is the very, very rare opportunity for you. So if you really have a, a strong interest uh, taking the health program, uh, then uh, practical nursing is really, really wonderful for you. We also have some seat for a practice, uh, personal support worker in uh, Canora and Fort uh, Francis uh, campuses in, in, in uh, Thunder Bay. Um, that is also two smaller campuses in uh, Canada. Uh, of Confederation College. And if you want to be a part of uh, this wonderful program, just apply for it. I would like to give a very short information about personal support worker. That is just a one year program. And that uh, after graduating from that program, you will be the, um, the, 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 the supporter to support old people in the nursing farm, in their home, in the hospital. And after, you know, this program has two semesters. The semester one would be online 
or some part who would be on campus. However, for the second semester, you have co-op. Then, then after graduation, you will uh, have job immediately. You don't need to worry about a job. And you know this, the third time, the third intact uh, personal support worker of Confederation College received the bursary of $2,000 Canadian dollar. So if you are a student of phone 2021, that's for sure that you will receive $2,000 Canadian dollar bursary uh, from the local authority. So as you see that we really need um, students for personal support worker program. Uh, we want you to be a student. And then after graduation, you, we want you to contribute to um, the community day and then the day. So that's all information I want to share with you. First, uh, uh, Thunder Bay has the, the very new um, immigration stream on IP. Then we have, um, uh, free public transportation. We offer you two letter of acceptance. And then we have some seats available for practical nursing and personal support worker. Um, we have so many options for business program and also for culinary uh, program. The, the, the living um, the fee, the uh, living expenses, the, um, uh, the tuition, um, everything, the renting fees in Thunder Bay is very affordable compared to other places. And we really want to welcome you to our school, our community. So uh, please contact a few global immediately after this webinar to book for the consultation in order to start the application as soon as possible. Uh, the seat is not there uh, forever. Um, it's, quite limited uh, because we do not have many seats for international students in general. So if you want to tap this opportunity, please uh, be as soon as possible. Please be quick. Thank you very much. And back to you, Phil Global. Thank you. You are on mute. Okay, <laughs> so all right. So, uh, apply board, Sir, Je Sir Jeko is here. So, I would like to um, ask also my team. So, may I call on Miss Shirley? Why Confederation College? Mm -hmm. Yes, hello, ma'am. Okay, so uh, towards that question, uh, Confederation College, because they definitely mm -hmm. offer or uh, provide two LOAs or two letter of acceptance, okay? So this definitely is applicable for those who would like to have a career change whenever they reach Canada. Good. Thank you. So amazing. So how about Ms. Regina? So do you have uh, information? Do you have take note about Confederation? Yes, ma'am. So that's why we choose confed uh, Confederation because after you graduate, it will be 100% work. You will have work. Yeah, so some of the program of Confederation College, there's a work placement, especially for the personal support worker. And also, Ms. Prinalyn, can you share about uh, Confederation College? So um, if you have, uh, take note about uh, the presentation of uh, Mr. Lee. What I like about Confederation College is because of its economic diversity, meaning to say there's a lot of career opportunities, maybe in land, air, and water. Thank you for sharing with us. Sir. Wow, awesome. So also I was sharing also that um, when you study in Canada, especially for a nurse and for the healthcare settings, you need um, uh, IELTS or English, uh, International English Language, but in Confederation College, is they don't need any certificate, any moi moi. We call that moi moi or medium of instruction. So they don't need that. And of course, application fee is waived. So that's the good thing about Confederation College. And this is size of the Philippines, double size of the Philippines, Thunder Bay on fire, right? So uh, Mr. Jayco, can you present also with Apply Board? How are you? Um, yes, Mr. I'm good. I was fixing the internet and I, I got onto the wrong link. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I was late. Okay, so do I need to present for that whiteboard? Um, or yes. can we just uh, okay? So, um, five minutes we can, can we? okay, sure. Uh, actually, it's 
it's uh, going to be fast demand. So I'm just going to share my screen. Okay, can you see it, guys? Not yet, sir. Okay, okay. how about now? Yeah. Okay, na po. Yes, sir. Okay, so good evening, everyone. So I'm Jack Laburona, a Pi Board Philippines representative. So, magkano pa yung slide? Sorry, magpagan internet. Okay, na ba? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, okay. thank you, Ms. Gervik. So we are Apply Board again, and our slogan is, we empower people around the world to study abroad and access the best education. So in brief, Apply Board is here to connect international institutions, recruitment partners, and of course, international students who are planning to go to Canada, USA, UK, and Australia. So we are proud to say that Apply Board was actually featured on Forbes, when our company announced 55 million CRC extension funding. To add, we are actually, you know, we landed 1.4 billion valuation with fresh funding. So more investment was poured into our um, company. That's why we are exponentially growing and expanding our recruitment partners worldwide. So we are also happy to say that Deloitte featured us as the fast growing tech company in Canada. Actually, we ranked number one. So a flyboard assess enable recruitment platform is uniquely designed to help international students study at the best institutions of higher education globally. Okay, so education is a right, not a privilege. We empower people around the world to access the best education. We are passionate about making a difference. At the heart of everything we do, we put our students first. We believe that everyone should have access to the best education available. And to give you highlights about Apply Board, again, we have processed more than 150,000 plus students worldwide. And we are in partnership with 1,500 plus international institution. And one of them is actually Confederation College. And we are proud that we have secured 22 million in scholarships for international students and in partnership with more than 5,000 plus recruitment partners. And Feel Global, is the accredited Apply Board partner in the Philippines. So currently we are 750 plus team members globally and we are growing and may reach 1,000 by the end of this year. So yeah, again, yes, study in Canada guide. So this time you need to um, choose Canada. So from the previous years, it's always Australia and New Zealand. They are the top of the game when it comes to study abroad. But you know, in the past, year up to present, Canada has opened their borders to international students. Um, I'm not saying with wide arms open, but again, they're very open for international students to study on campus or choose online or hybrid program. So to add or to top that, again, academic excellence in Canada is not being questioned at all. They have high ranking institutions there. And of course, you're not According to the Canadian Bureau of International Education, in 2018 International Student Survey, um, they, they were overwhelmed by the majority of students because 93% were satisfied with their educational experience in Canada. Not, not to uh, add affordable costs, like what you have heard, scholarships, um, discounts, promos. Um, it's totally different when you study in, in the US, UK, or Australia, wherein you're going to pay three to four folds, unlike in Canada, affordable talaga. High quality of life, safe place to live, multicultural environment, and of course, work during study. So again, you can work 20 hours per week during study course and full-time on sun breaks. If you're planning to bring your spouse or dependent, again, they may apply for open work permit and they can work full-time. So again, Canada is pro, a pro immigration policies. And then like what have, I mean, what has been mentioned, um, Confederation College is actually under RNIP. So regarding that, you have to contact Field Global for more information about migration policy. Okay, so your journey to Canada starts now. So it's good that you have chosen Field Global as your agency. Again, Ms. Jervik is here to assist all of you guys. So in choosing the institution, it's Confederation College. So the location in campus, I think me has already explained to you 
Thunder Bay and other campuses that you can choose, the programs that you may be qualified in, and of course, the admission requirements. Chill lang. So waving IELTS and, you know, um, kahit walang background sa ibang program, you may apply as long as you, uh, the admission requirement is applicable on your uh, preferred program. For the visa type, again, student permit will be assisted by the Bill Global. So always get in touch with them for the requirements. For the work rights, opportunities, and global qualification, it's guaranteed that this study, uh, I mean, your Canadian study will open a lot of door and opportunities, not just in Canada, but worldwide. So again, apply board, we are committed. So we are committed in helping our partner agencies and students achieve success by finding the best institution. And today, CONFED is one of the best. So the goal is to provide students achieve globally recognized qualifications. And then of course, we want you, we want you to expand your networks globally and cultural experience in Canada. So I think that's the end of my presentation because um, yeah, Sorry, I was late. So Confederation College has already presented. So um, Q&A has now started. You may drop your questions on the chat box, guys. Okay, and we will answer. Ms. Jurevic, Min, and I will answer all the queries. Thank you very much, Ms. Jurevic. Thank you, Sir Jeko. So now um, let's proceed with, um, hello, Ms. Charlene. So can you introduce our presenter with Fell Global? How Fell Global will uh, help you in your application in um, Canada, study in Canada? Yes, hello, good evening, everyone. So I would like to um, introduce, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened to my camera, but it's open. It's not, <laughs> all right, I'm sorry about that. But I am introducing uh, the one who is presenting the Fell Global, definitely, as we already have uh, Confederation College, okay, it has been presented already the programs that they have and how Apply Board is working with us. So now, definitely, you need someone to go ahead and assist you towards the application and Phil Global is there with you. So let's welcome Ms. Um, Regina Villarreal to do the presentation for Phil Global. Thank you. All right, so Ms. Regina. Maybe Ms. Regina, there is a technical problem, ma'am. So can you go with a uh, presentation, Ms. Regina, to back up? Hold on, let me just go ahead. Okay, the video is now working, All right? So let me go ahead and... Um, Pull up the slides to do the presentation. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, start uh, screen sharing. Okay, our apologies for the delays, okay? It could be due to the um, weather that we have in our place because it is raining, but yes, okay, it's working. Finally. All right, uh, please let me know if you're able to see my screen already. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's start. Okay, hold on. Okay, all right, I'm sorry about that. Um, it just hung, okay. So is it okay to proceed uh, using this slide instead because it's not working? I'm sorry, what really, I didn't expect that this is gonna happen, but let me go ahead and uh, start. Will that be okay? Sure. All right, thank you so much for that. Sorry, 
Okay. Uh, Marie-Gina, are you okay? I don't know yes, what happened uh, to my slides. It's it's uh it's not moving, it's not working. Okay, ma'am, let me share my screen, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. Okay, ma'am. All right. Yes, um I'll stop my screen sharing here okay, so mom can go ahead and do screen share on her end. All right. Really, our apologies for the delays. Uh, let me uh, read, mom. The host is not a uh, disabled participant screen sharing. I cannot share my screen, mom. <laughs> okay, so okay, while mom. it's that, okay now, mom. Okay now? Yes, mom. Okay. okay, so can you see my screen now? Um, not yet, mom. So I will post that. First, ma'am, no, bago ka mag-proceed to have, um, I will giving the prize. So remember in the chat box, I ask you, who is your marketing executive? Who is inviting you here? So the one that is commented, I will give them 100 pesos off for the consultation. So ma'am, Sherlyn, I need your help. Who is the one who commenting on the chat box? So I will give them 100 pesos to, ha to have um, for their one-on-one -on -one consultation, ma'am. So I will give discount. So yeah, and so maybe Miss Regina is ano na? prepared na. So let's yes, proceed. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's do. Yes, ma'am. Can you see my screen now, ma'am? Yeah. Okay, so that's good. So uh, first, let me introduce myself. My name is Regina Villarreal, and one of the marketing executive from uh, Phil Global Immigration Services Corporation, where uh, wherein I am located in Cavite. Team Cavite. Okay, so let's uh, start our presentation. So in this webinar, we will know on how you can study, work, and live abroad. Can you see my screen now? Okay, so in this video, we will uh, we will show you Sir Birch Ian Ranis. And then I will play this video. Okay, again. Um, hello, Ms. Regina, you have, I'm needing Ms. Shirley to rescue Ms. Regina. Hello, Ms. Shirley. Yes, hello, ma'am. Okay, so hopefully um, this will work. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, continue with the uh, presentation, okay? So yes, I will work on uh, with this screen that I have, okay? Hold on. Okay, Mom Judy, can you see my screen? Not yet, Mom. So maybe Ms. Rina is still presenting, so you cannot present, mm -hmm. so I will remove. 
first. Okay. So you can present now. Okay. So go ahead, ma'am. All right, ma'am. I'm now sharing my screen. Hold on. This is really all unexpected. So thank you so okay. much, guys, for patiently waiting for this. But another winner. So he is commenting again, Miss Frendeline. I need your help on this. So I will giving again 100 pesos off for the consultation fee while waiting, Miss Shirley, to present. All right, ma'am. Okay, you can go ahead now. All right. Can you see my screen up? Yeah. So we will stick on your presentation since Miss Shirley okay. has got a um, technical problem right now. Where's All right. Your, where apology for? Okay. Thank you so much for that. All right. So... Let me go ahead and uh, start the presentation. So once again, good evening, everyone. I'm Charlene Benepayo from Phil Global Immigration Services, Cavite. Um, Phil Global Immigration Services Corporation study work, leave abroad. Okay, with Phil Global, you can achieve your dreams overseas through easy and hassle-free processing consultation. So with the video, I will not be playing this because really the um, connection is not letting us uh, to do so. So I'm going to skip this one. All you have to do is um, go ahead and check it on our YouTube channel, type in Phil Global Immigration Services Corporation. All right, so Phil Global Immigration Services Corporation is a company that started out in London, August 11, and branched out in the Philippines, offering immigration and university placements to New Zealand, UK, Spain, Australia, Canada, and United States of America. The company consists of talented variety of uh, professional from distinct sectors of industry, who strengthen the company in providing people from all walks of life a stepping stone to achieve their dreams to study, work, and live overseas. And also, as we have mentioned on the previous slides, that we have just started August 11th of uh, 2014, but with over 15 years of experience in legal marketing, recruitment, and business consulting combined, Phil Global is proud of its personalized value for money and a focus on always putting its customers' interests at heart. Because Phil Global is committed to embrace the corporate values of compassion and integrity in all of its business transactions. Okay. And also our mission is to um, enable professionals and families, individuals across the globe to fulfill their potential and achieve their dreams by being able to study, work, visit, and live overseas, all right? And our vision is to become a world leader in university placements, immigration, and legal services, and to provide opportunities and assistance to professionals, individuals, and families to achieve their dreams to study, work, and this is, uh, vis uh, visit and live overseas, okay? And... Um, our ethos, okay, our guiding beliefs po and ideals come from two very important Filipino values po. That is the compassion and integrity. With compassion, it's the love and care of, for our clients and stakeholders. So we definitely treat you as part of our family. And with integrity naman po, providing our best services with honesty and dignity. We do things right not because we think it is right, but because it is morally correct, okay? And part of that integrity is the legalities, as you can see, uh, to ensure that Phil Global Immigration Services Corporations provides high quality and um, legal and immigration services to its clients. We commission services from the most qualified and experienced lawyers and top education providers and university across the globe. And one of them, definitely is the Confederation College. We are in partnership 
with experienced immigration uh, advisors in United Kingdom, Denmark, New Zealand, Canada, and Australia. So part of the legal documents that we have definitely is our SEC certificate. So meron po magpatatanong kung uh, no matter uh, anong gawin namin, hindi po namin kayo makita sa POEA because Phil Global is not POEA accredited. Okay, what we have is an SEC certificate po. As well as we also have our business permit and the City Hall OR. So we would like to introduce to you the directors, partners, and legal counsel. So the managing director of Phil Global is C. Sir Birch Ian Rannis. Okay, so C. Sir Birch Ian uh, Rannis, he is also a product of a student visa. Okay, knowing for a fact that he has graduated cum laude sa Siliman University po and took up a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. While nag-aral naman siya sa UK and has the degree of Master of Science in International Hospitality and ang course niya is International Hospitality Management. Right? So this is very uh, related to the topic that we have discussed with Confederation College pertaining to hospitality, all right? And also, our Director of Finance and Administration, we have Sir Joseph V. Basa, okay? And our uh, Corporate Secretary Legal Counsel, Attorney Ernel San Trujillo, because he is with the Global Pop to provide naman representation in civil and criminal cases, okay, to leading a company and supporting compliance and litigation efforts. Right? So kanina may na-mention tayo, may mga partners po tayo na advisors and lawyers. So ito po si Sir uh, or uh, si Mark Finlayson from United States. Okay, We also have Mark Welch, uh, Mara Advisor from Australia, Damon Kroshner, okay, Solicitor Barrister to UK, and Ji Yong Jung. We also have Jesse Marchand, okay, Ali Belbich here. Attorney Leon Gaspari, Tanette Cruz Jung, and Luz Bayuko. So you will see here as well, uh, Phil Global, amazing team, all right? So prior or before this pandemic happens, we definitely have our company events as well. But sadly, because of uh, what is happening right now, we were not able to do so. But we definitely look forward na makakasama uli natin, okay? Especially uh, there are some na nasa regional offices, the others are in our main office, okay? And it's not just that, okay? Sir Birch and Sir Joseph, they do university partner visits, okay? So they would like to make sure that um, everything is taken care of with our students as well as they are able to get the uh, programs that, that has been offered to them while they are here in the Philippines, okay? And it's not just that. You can see here that even the school representative from different school, they definitely do visit here in the Philippines, okay? But definitely, again, also this happens before the pandemic. And our um, representative, uh, those representative from uh, a different schools, they also would like to visit and come back here, okay? So... Phil Global also do client send off. So that means to say na ihahatid po ni Phil Global sa airport. Okay. So making sure everything is taken care of sa immigration. All right. So marami na rin tayong makikita ang testimonials with that. And then uh, meron din tayo mga videos that you can go ahead and check din po sa ating YouTube channel. And also, so Phil Global branches. So lahat po ng ating... Um, Oh, sorry, by the way, the Manila office is the only operational office that we have, which is located the second floor, Times Plaza Mall, UN Avenue, Corner Taft Avenue, Ermita, Manila. So the contact person is Miss Jasmine Andrada. And the regional offices that Phil Global has, as I have mentioned, all right, we are all work from home status. So wag na po tayo magwonder if in case na you met a representative from Cavite and you are from Naga, okay, that would be fine. Everyone would be able to take care and assist you very well. Okay, so from the regional office, we have Cavite, Ma'am Jurevic Villaganes, our team leader, okay. And in Pampanga, we have Ms. Gretchen Tang. From Baguio, we have uh, Sir George Magsano. 
And from Cagayan de Oro, Ali Morohomsar. And uh, Batangas, we have Miss Neri Gia. Okay. And also in Naga, we have Miss May Angeli Aporto and Miss Cello Elemia from Cebu. Okay. Also from Dumagueta, we have Miss Nadine Laplap. And um, from Bohol, Miss Ele um, Elmerazon Chavez. Okay. So, yan po ang mga team leaders ng ating regional offices. So, we already have uh, presented to you our company. Na introduce na rin natin niya yung lead, uh, pagiging legit to feel global. So, ano ba yung mga programs and services that feel global is offering or is assisting as well? Okay, so we have student visa, okay, tourist visa, okay, and the other types of visa are the dependent visa. We also have a business visa, spousal visa, fiancé visa general skilled migrant visa and dj1 internship visa so what is the type of visa nakakailanganin ko because i would like to enroll or uh, be a student okay in confederation college definitely it's going to be the student visa okay so this is the type of visa that you are going to use we're in whenever you are a student visa holder you are eligible to work part time so that would be 20 hours per week, okay? And also, a student visa holder is eligible to get a dependent, okay? So some of us are already uh, married and already has their family, but would still like to go ahead and um, have a student visa, all right? So they can get their dependent definitely with a defin uh, dependent visa, okay? And uh, it's very clear about the uh, business visa, and the other types of visa. As you can see here that uh, we are all aware that tourist visa is really uh, not um, available yet, but definitely you can go ahead and ask or do a consultation for that in a way that prior to your uh, visit to your preferred country, you will already be able to uh, check what are the requirements, okay? Since there are uh, still restrictions naman for tourist visa. Okay, but definitely Canada border, as has been mentioned by uh, Sir Jeko a while ago, Canada border has already been open and that was last October of 2020. All right, so what are the uh, company affiliations of uh, Phil Global? So we have the JVB Travel and Tours, okay, Phil Global English Academic Center. So this applies to those schools that requires IELTS, but luckily, okay, Confederation Wave IELTS for Filipino students. So thank you, Confederation, for that. Okay. And Philippine residences as well. We also have the FG Essential PH and Wine and Cheese, uh, the JVB, Wine and Cheese Cafe. All right. And also, Okay, sorry about that. So um, yes, we have also been recognized by different school in Canada. Okay, and uh, you can see here towards the Phil Global Partners. Okay, it shows here there are really a lot of school and Confederation College is one of the uh, partner school of uh, Phil Global. Okay, but only if in case this is school that you would like to enroll with is not listed here, you can still go ahead and proceed and we're going to make partnership with them. Definitely, this is mostly apply for those po na merong mga kamag-anak and they would like or they uh, prefer, okay, to enroll sa school na mas malapit po doon sa bahay ng mga relatives nila or family nila. So, syempre, lalayo pa ba tayo, okay? So, para magkaroon na rin tayo na accommodation and stay with your family. As well as the client testimonials that we have here, I will not be able to play the video, okay? So, I highly suggest everyone for you to go ahead and visit our YouTube channel. Just type in Phil Global Immigration Services Corporation po and then marami po kayong makikitang client's testimonials po. All right? So, again, okay, ayan, nabigay na natin kung ano ba yung mga programs ni Phil Global. So, there would be another question. How can Phil Global help you to reach your dreams? Okay? So, ito po yung guidance and assistance during the entire application process. So, access to our lawyers if necessary, unlimited IELTS review, Okay, assistance, 
step-by-step -step embassy application assistance and guidance. All right. So free counseling on qualification and options of countries to go to. Enjoy scholarships, discounts, and loan options. Have at least 20 country programs to choose from and different programs per country po. Okay, we will help you to make that choice to be closer to your dream. Okay, so uh, Phil Global will definitely be assisting you for that. All right. Okay, hold on. Okay, so you can see here, uh, it states about uh, a membership um, inclusion. All right. Hold on. Okay, so you're going to have a free two days and one night condo hotel accommodations. It would either be in Bohol, Cebu, Cagayan de Oro, and in Manila. You're going to have a free visa assessment for visa application and immigration consultation as well. Lifetime membership and company support. Okay, so free university school placements for student visa, school letter offer, sponsorship assistance, Free accident insurance worth two hundred thousand. Okay, and uh, consultation with Full Global Unlimited. Okay, with free info pack, one year validity. Later on, we will discuss about what this consultation is all about. All right, and free medical consultation, free psychiatric counseling up to five times. We also have free financial planning, free IELTS review and review materials. Free to Wolingo PTA review and our review materials, free nursing CBT and review materials, free HCPC UK registration for PTMPOT, okay, and free occupational test of English or the OET. So uh, this is for New Zealand and Australia applicants. Naman po. You're going to have a free travel itinerary. Okay, free bottle of wine from JBBY Wine and Cheese Cafe, free legal advice, and also free RT-PCR test for international, uh, for international student travel only po. As well as accommodation assistance on the country of your choice. Because wala naman, ah, hindi naman lahat sa atin ay may kamag-anak po sa ibang bansa. So definitely, you need a place to stay while you're studying. So uh, that's the good thing with Phil Global. So we will be assisting your accommodation prior to your arrival to your chosen country. Most especially in Canada as you are enrolling with Confederation College. Okay, so check natin kung ano yung um, accommodation that fits your budget as well. Airport pickup arrival and airport send off departure. So from here in the Philippines po, ihahatid kayo sa airport and um, there, okay, pagdating nyo naman sa country destination nyo, okay, you will then be picked up and ihahatid naman kayo sa accommodations nyo, okay? And travel discounts and perks. Hotel bookings and um, discounts. Okay, again, there's has been a delay, right? Okay, investment and remittance advice, national insurance registration assistance, straightforward recommendation, big savings on professional fees, nursing council registration assistance in the country of your choice, and also account opening assistance in a foreign bank. Okay, kasi kailangan din natin yon. Criminal record bureau processing assistance, Philippine money remittance advice and part-time job profile assistance. So, si Phil Global po does not provide any job first, okay? And Phil Global does not guarantee member will pass the job interview they applied online in Indeed, but definitely po, ang uh, si Phil Global po, we will assist you po, 
sa application nyo, alright? And a while ago, we have mentioned about consultation. So, ano po ba ang benefits of consultation? This is to get to know which country and programs you're most qualified, alright? So, you can see here that there is an amount that is stated on these slides that I have. So, please then uh, don't be uh, confused because uh, it only reflects po ng savings nyo. Kasi there could be some um, consultancy agency that will be charging you 1500 per consultation. There are some. But with Phil Global, that payment of 1500 is already unlimited. Okay? So, with Phil Global as well, whenever you had a consultation, it always goes with an info pack. But mostly, the info pack costs 500 But this is given free, uh, for free na ni Phil Global. So the consultation goes with an info pack. So what is an info pack? This definitely is um, a copy of the details that has been discussed during your consultation in a way that you can go ahead and go over with it, review it before you go ahead and proceed. Okay. And once again, wag po tayong makonfuse ha, na five lang ba ang consultation? No, it's not. Okay. So you can see here that unlimited consultations, 1,500 consumable for one year. Okay. So you are given um, unlimited consultation in a way for you to go ahead and weigh in your options. And just in case that you have still further questions, definitely pwede nating maklarify and set up another consultation. And it's not just that. Whenever you are having a consultation, this always goes with an info pack. Okay? Kung ano man yung diniscuss, you will always have a copy of that. And you will also get in touch personally with a sales manager and managing director via support group. Okay, it would either be on Facebook, Messenger, Skype, or Survivor, whichever po is um, more convenient to you. Okay, and also you can see here we have the payment option. You can go ahead and take a screenshot of that. So after our um, presentation or the webinar for tonight, you can go ahead and proceed for consultation in a way that we would be able to check the uh, programs that fits for you, especially po with Confederation College, okay? Kasi ang dami yung courses, okay? So, graduate po ako ng ganito. Ano po bang course ang pwede kong kunin kay Confederation College, okay? So, marami po, all right? And um, if in case that the screenshot that you have taken is not that clear, you can go ahead and request for a copy po sa marketing executive or those who have invited you to attend tonight's um webinar okay so thank you so much and once again our apology for the inconvenience um i really have to uh stick with this so i can do the presentation it could really have been because of the uh, weather okay the uh, connection has been um, affected but still we really appreciate okay that you stay with us and uh your patience as well okay so i am going to stop my screen sharing and i guess um we may be proceeding for the uh, question and answer. Okay, go ahead, Ma'am Jurivik. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Ms. Um, Shirlin. So can you help me, Sir Jeko and Ms. Shirlin, to, have, um, to answer their questions? Meron ba tayong questions sa uh, chat box? So guys, huwag kayong mahiya ha, to have your question po. This is your, um, what do you call that, chance to to have uh, to answer your questions as well. There is a question actually from Miss Jenny Angelica Sullivan. I think it's regarding the tuition fee. So this is for Confed. So how much is one semester tuition fee? Is that half of the rate shown earlier? Example for personal support worker annual fee is sixteen thousand nine. So the one sem is equals to eight thousand four point five dollars. Is that correct, Min? Yes. Yes. That's yes, correct. that's correct. That's correct, Jenny. All right, thank you. So, guys, do you have any other questions in mind? Feel free to speak out or drop your questions on the chat box. You can ask for both, uh, actually, to feel global and then confident. You can unmute anyway. Mm -hmm. So, maybe you have or not. We'll just. Um, 
just inform you guys now we are live on Vietnam and also uh, Phil Global here in the Philippines and of course Canada. So we are on live. Okay, so any questions? How so, about, I have a question. Uh, okay. How about I mean, for the support that you'll be providing to students will be arriving in Thunder Bay? So do you provide um, quarantine um, support for international students studying in Confed? Uh, so the same to uh, uh, any other public uh, colleges in, in, in Ontario, we do have uh, a lot of support to international students when they arrive in Canada and also in Thunder Bay. So usually students will take a three days quarantine in uh, Toronto and then they take a flight to go to uh, Thunder Bay and we support them with um, the quarantine. We require international students to take the quarantine right on our campus uh, at our residence. So we have one building just for international students to take the quarantine. And after finishing the quarantine, they can decide to go like uh, to stay there for a longer time or they can rent a room for themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we support them a lot. So uh, for a 14 day uh, quarantine in the Bay, uh, we charge uh, only uh, 340 Canadian dollars. We support them with uh, a lot of fees as you, you see and compare with other colleges. The fee with Confederation College is very, very low. Uh, for, for 14 days and after, uh, during that, uh, during the quarantine, students can take some online courses if they, they have or if they arrive uh, like sooner, they just type the quarantine and read books and do some other things until they finish the quarantine and then they are free. Uh, after uh, finishing the quarantine, then students can book for the COVID-19 vaccination. They can take it right after they finish their quarantine. All right. Right. But so, do they have options for um, what do you call this um, vaccine type or brand if ever they are going yeah, to have yes, 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 yes. And it's on free for international students. Oh, okay. It's great oh, to know. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, sir, I have, have follow-up questions now. So how about the vaccine? If they are vaccinated here in the Philippines, um, there is um, a specific vaccine to, to arrive in Canada, like B Pfizer or uh, Moderna like that? Yeah, they do have different type and student can choose uh, from the list. Uh, but you know, for the previous, like the previous vaccination, usually now they do not take it, especially uh, people who are older, uh, older than 40 years old. So uh, the vaccination for international students and for domestic people is just the same. Uh, we do not have rather uh, different things just for international students and different vaccine for uh, Canadian people, no. It's just the same. And a student will book uh, the, 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 the appointment by themselves, but we can give them a lot of uh, instruction on this. Oh, all right. Awesome. Okay, so Jacob. Um, what other um, student services does, I mean, uh, aside from the, the one you presented, that can Confed provide to you know Filipinos um, when they arrive in in Confederation or Thunder Bay. Do you have any other support? Like for example, um, when it comes to you know homeworks, um, what do you call this? Um, resume building, do you have that? Or mock job oh. for, for international students when they want to apply for part-time jobs? Uh, yes, we have a lot of webinar to, uh, to instruct uh, so in the past, without the pandemic, uh, student we, we organized a lot of uh, uh, like um, uh, webinars, no, no, like uh, like events for students. But now under the pandemic, all of uh, the format would be online. But we do have uh, a lot of offer for them uh, to like to train them how to write CV, how to answer questions from employers, how to look for jobs. 
So if you look at the page of Confederation College and you will find during this week, uh, sorry, during the next week, uh, there will be another uh, webinar uh, to instruct the student how to find jobs. And on Thursday, just yesterday, I think uh, that we, we had another a webinar to, uh, to instruct students how to find jobs in the day. We do have a lot of uh, activity for students. We, we want them to, to have jobs. And uh, just to give you some information. So under the pandemic, uh, international students in the day, they have even more uh, job opportunity rather than in the past, uh, especially the part-time jobs, just because um, during this time, Canadian students, they don't want to work because if they work, they uh, their income would be activated and then they cannot receive the sponsorship from the government anymore. So usually they decide not to work and um, they give the work back to international students. And now students have a lot of options in the past or if there is a work there, they will be they will take it. But now they, 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 they have something to consider. Should I do this? Should I do that? Uh, which is, uh, which provides higher salary, just like that. So uh, during this time, I think I, I, I get a lot of uh, information from international students, not just uh, Filipino students, but also from Vietnamese students there. Um, there's, a, there's even more uh, job opportunities for them. Okay, thanks very much, Min. And um, you mentioned about the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot, the RNIP. Um, one of the requirements, I think, is about meeting or exceeding the educational requirements, right? Yeah. Or for that. Uh, um, do you have any um, recommendation, specific programs for international students to take for them, you know, to, to smooth the process, this, this immigration pathway? Um, in the past, so I mean, uh, as you know, there are 11 communities covered by RNIP, but uh, Thunder Bay is the city which has the first, um, uh, is the uh, Confederation College in Thunder Bay is the first community which has that uh, RNIP run in, in our city. And because of that, we can have some experience we, we we have some examples from last year from 2020 and because the, of the success from last year this year we even have uh, some better information so um for even for example like from last year the english requirements was uh, clb seven but now the clb is just six so it's lower than last year and if uh, you are the confederation college graduate then your English requirement is waived. You don't need to show the English requirement anymore. Um, and and uh, if you graduate from a two years program uh, from Confederation College, and then the working experience also waived. So you don't need to show it. Um, and from 2021, only in Thunder Bay, 100% of the program under Confederation College can lead uh, to the application for RIP. So in other communities, you may know that uh, just a priority occupation, a priority programs can, can, can apply for RIP. But in Thunder Bay, if you look at the requirements, you can see that from 2021, 100% uh, will be 100% of programs from Confederation College will be qualified under RIP. So uh, that's uh, really wonderful for any student who wants to take the program in the past that was not okay for uh, uh, RIP application, but now it's all okay. Um, in the day this year, uh, the, the local government decided uh, to, 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 to waive the age limit. So last year, there was uh, uh, a limitation from 18 years old to 55 years old. But from this year, they, they do not look uh, at the age as the requirement anymore. So uh, until you are uh, a person who stay in Thunder Bay for two years or even longer, then you are fine to apply for RIP. Uh, however, if, of course, if you are a student from Confederation College, 
then you have uh, like higher marks for the degree, higher mark for the connection with communities, uh, higher marks for other things. So that's why uh, you apply for RIP. Then you have more marks and then you have more successful rate under RIP. But uh, for any student who stay there for two years or even longer, they are also fine to apply for RIP and send it back. Okay, thank you for that wonderful answer. Um, anyone, guys, from the attendees, do you have any question about Confed's program, um, service, or let's say, um, Ms. Jurevic, do you have something in mind? <laughs> yeah, I don't have any in mind because um, I know Confederation College, just, their program is, um, yes. you know, you cannot... Um, you cannot hide it that there uh this uh this school is really really um amazing yeah. RNA program all the program is RNA program and of course um they have also the offering for hospitality apprenticeship i am right sir yes. yes. yeah so um in fact we have a lot of webinars from confed we discuss a lot of um programs so we have uh i'd like to um so invite everyone again so if you are skill, uh, under skilled program so we have a coming webinar this coming june 11 i am right miss friendly no so we do have skilled program for june 11 webinar yes, so no. for that miss friendly um, are you ready for that uh mm -hmm. for the games um mom before that mom no we have a questions on facebook okay sorry then, sorry is it possible if we address it before moving forward with our games? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 So this question is from Miss Lisa. So Mom Lisa said, "How much is our tuition fee for practical nursing in Thunder Bay College?" Hello, Sir Mean. Um. Yes. Uh, so uh, I do have the question, the, the answer. So let me share my screen again uh to show information about practical nursing um here it is uh, so as you see um for a year uh the, the tuition is uh, fifteen thousand four hundred and fourteen canadian dollar for uh, a year include and then uh, this program require you to study in two years a diploma program so you need uh third 36,000 something uh, for two years uh, studying practical nursing. And uh, as you know, like uh, for Confederation College, we do not require any pre health uh, before student tech practical nursing. And um, it's really important uh, that we also waive IL for this program. So uh, as you see, the English requirement is just this. So if you used to type English uh, as your high school or at um, university with the, the, the minimum C plus, and then you will be fine to apply for Confederation College. You do not need to show your IELTS. And um, practical nursing provide you more than 700 hours of core. That's so important for international students. All right. Thank you for answering that question, Mr. Min. So do you have any question on Facebook Live? Oh my God, I'm sorry. My apology to, to not to mention the Facebook Live. Uh, do you have any question, Ms. Renelin? We also have question from Ma'am Jessica Vanderlipe Barangay. So for Ma'am Jessica, she is asking, what are the location of our campuses? So this is located in Thunder Bay, Ontario, right? Sir, I mean, sir, how many campuses do we have for Confederation College? Uh, we, at Confederation College, we do have nine campuses. Yeah. Uh, most students will take uh, the program in Thunder Bay. So Thunder Bay area has Thunder Bay City and many other cities. So uh, we have the campus in Thunder Bay cities in Canora, in Fort Francis, in different other areas in a very big uh, um, community of Thunder Bay. So in general, Thunder Bay area has the double size of the whole Philippines. So it's so large with nine campuses. 
So the um, the campuses for um, the practical nursing is quite uh, far away from uh, Thunder Bay, uh, just because, as you know, in in Canada for a public school, if you want to take uh, aviation program, then you will study in the campus, which is very close to uh, the international airport. So if you want to take the business program, that would be in the campus, which close to like. Uh, and the business center of the city. And if you want to take uh, like uh, the program in medicine, in, uh, uh, in biology, in health, then you will take the program in the forest areas, just because like we, in general, the, 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 the college, the authority there, they don't want to have some uh, that effect to the community in general. So that's why the same to practical nursing, it is offered in the Canora and for Francis. It is quite far away from, uh, from Thunder Day campus, but it still have a lot of opportunity for students and facility for students to take that program. Okay, for the last question in our Zoom. So this question is from Mamzara. She is asking, can I continue my course in Canada or I will back in first year college because she is currently a second year student with a course of hospitality management. Hello, sir. Uh, is that for me? I think yes. either. Um... Bill Global or Confed can answer this one. Yeah. So I will answer on that. Yes, you will go back to first year college uh, when you when you take a program hospitality and confederation. So even though if you are graduate here in the Philippines, still you will go back to first year in college. So you will take first year program. So in Canada, they will call that first year program, two year program. So yeah. I hope you answered your question. Yeah. Thank you, Ms. Freeway. Okay, Ms. Freddy, do you have? So let's proceed for the game. So I hope this game, so I will give uh, a little bit help for your consultation. So it happens uh, only during our event like this. So Ms. Freddy Lynn? Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen. Actually, this game is all about the trivia. So it will show to our viewers if they are really listening during our events. And also, um, this trivia game will get to have a 100 discount. Am I right, Ma'am Jerife? Yes, 100. And of course, I will add on that. If you book your consultation tomorrow, I will give another 100 pesos. Okay. And then also, Miss Freni, if they want to be a member of Fell Global, there, uh, we will give, um, can you share the screen about that? The criteria of Fell Global? Actually, ma'am, this is our, um, the lucky winners. Okay, okay. The one who shared, who invited them. Wait, ma'am, ha. Okay, there you go. We have Ma'am Juvelin Pakal, the one who you invited, Ma'am Jurevic. They already got 100 discount. If they proceed for consultation, congratulations, Ma'am Juvelin. Yeah, congratulations, ma'am. And I will add on that another 100 if they book tomorrow, ma'am. Okay, if wow. they will pay tomorrow, sorry. If they will pay tomorrow and then they will send a copy of the uh, the deposit slip, so I will give them another 200 pesos. So the, the games is like this, Miss Freddy, no? They will uh, they will book consultation for 1,500. Later on, we will give, uh, give back to them the 200 pesos. So is that okay? That is noted, ma'am. And okay. also, we have Ma'am Ana Faye Labuana, the one who I invited. So you already have 100 and when you proceed, another 100 discount. So for a total of 200, am I right, Ma'am Jurevic? Yes. So that and, is awesome, no? Yes, Ma'am. And Ma'am Jenny Angelica Soliden. 
Congratulations. Po. Congratulations. So, uh, we have follow up gifts like two games more or three. Okay, so let's start na po ba, ma'am? For sure. our game. Okay. Second way to have uh, the winner. Okay. So for this game, this is a trivia. Okay. okay, so for this trivia, ma'am, all you have to do is type your correct answer in our chat box. Okay? okay. Can we start so, now, ma'am, Jerry? Yes, so this is for the Zoom attendees only, not in the Facebook Live. Okay, ma'am, that is okay. okay. Number one, what is the name of the partner school in our event tonight? What is the name of the partner school in our event tonight? Letter A, letter box. Confederation College. Letter B, Confederation College. Five, four, three, two, one. What's the answer, ma'am? Who okay. got the correct answer? So, Ms. Shirley, I need you this. Confederation. Yes, the one who get uh, first, okay? The first one, rather, who get the correct answer is Marilyn Coralde. She's the okay. first one to answer uh, and provide the uh, correct answer. Uh, it is letter A, Confederation College. Confederation College, congratulations. Congratulations. So, Miss, who's um, was the winner, ma'am, again? So, put in the chat box so we will contact you after the event. Okay, next. Number two. This program may help you build your future career in Canada to launch your own entrepreneur venture. Letter A, business program. Letter B, aviation program. Five, four, three, two, one. Who got the correct answer, ma'am? This program may help you build your future career in Canada to launch your own entrepreneurial venture. Mm -hmm. Did you already stated the correct answer, ma'am? The correct answer is letter A. Okay. Yes, okay. The one who first got the correct answer for letter A is, uh, sorry, Jenny Angelica Sullivan. So, Ma yes, the, the first one who answered after your question, because what happens is that the pop up na yung question, just like for now, uh, the question has been pop up be before it has been asked. So there are really some who would be answering in advance. So to be fair enough. Okay, how, um, what's your thoughts about that, Ma'am Juridic? Yes, go ahead, Ma'am Juridic. It should be after the, uh, the bill. So you can answer the question. You'll answer like right away. So, when I count the mom, no? Yeah, yes. when you count it, Miss Friend, it to be fair to everybody, okay? Okay. For sino naman, ma'am, who's the person next to her po? Who answer it right? Hello, ma'am Sherlyn. Who's the next uh, person who answer it right? I should mention the correct answer is letter A. And I have uh, checked in here that it's Miss Jenny Angelica. Do, do you have, are you able to check other um, person who answered first after the bell? Yeah, after the bell, ma'am. Yes, see Miss Jenny Angelica Sullivan. Okay, thank you. So next again, if you, if you see the um, question, after the bell, you can uh, put your answer in the chat box. Okay, next. Uh, okay, hold on. Um, I would like to ask, uh, what a, uh, is this question for Zoom also or um, those who are participating in on Facebook? 
So you're still in the Zoom, ma'am. So after ah, that, okay. you'll be on the Facebook, okay? All right, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, for the third question. What do you call about the unique and fast pathway that Confederation College offers for international students to become a migrant in a lower requirements? Letter A, Rural Northern Immigration Pilot Program. Letter B, Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. Five, four, three, two, one. one. Okay. So the answer is Rural and North Immigration Pilot Program. That's right. Who got the right answer first now? I'll give the judgment to Mom Jury Vic. <laughs> so of course I will give after the will before you type the question in the chat box. So it should be after the so Miss Sherlyn, you're the one. Okay. I will give it to you. So um, you gathered five who got correct answer. I will give them 100 pesos off. Okay, so um, for uh, the question, um, yeah. as it has been mentioned that the answer is student visa, right? And definitely this is letter B, correct? I'm sorry, hello? Hello, ma'am, we're still in number three question. I ah, number three, okay. Yeah, sorry so about that. Sorry, ma'am. Uh, ma sorry, uh, my apology. The reason I am getting it because there has been delays a while ago on my end. Yeah, it, it is not posting real time. That's okay. why I'm having a delayed answer as well. Really, my apology. Okay, so I will, you gathered five who got correct answer and then I will give um, discount for the consultation, ma'am. So you listed the five, you name it. So, walang uulit na winner, ha? Dapat isang beses lang pumanalo. Kapag tapos na sila, you will not uh, win it again, okay? Okay ba tayo uh, doon? Yes, so, exciting here because I will give five po. So, sa lahat po ng uh, the question number three, I will, I will have the five correct answer. And then I will give them the five discount for the consultation. Okay ba tayo doon? Yes, thank you for that, ma'am. A great discount indeed. Yeah, so I know I know, we are so I know tonight, so I will give them the five who got correct answer, and then they will go for a discount for the consultation. So this is only happen only we ha if we have uh, even ma'am ha. So kapag wala ng event, we don't have discount for the consultation. So alam yan ng mga um, they do consultation with Phil Global, and right now. They are flying to Canada. They don't have like this po na may uh, discount sila for the consultation. Kung ako sa inyo, gamitin nyo na yung discount nyo. Okay? So next questions, ma'am. So this is for Facebook Live. So sino po ang mag-monitor ng Facebook Live natin? Actually, ma'am, uh, this ends our work presentation for Trivia Maker. But we can add some. Is it possible, ma'am? Yeah, for uh, this is... Ah, this is the last for the no, uh, number four question? We can give another question, ma'am. Yeah, for the Facebook Live, can you get um, one question for them? Okay, for the last question for the Facebook Live, how, um, what year does Phil Global start at? What year does Phil Global start at? Okay. So I hope they can get that. Do you have any question for that, ma'am? Do you have um, Facebook Live who answer? Naku, ma'am, wala, ma'am. Okay, we will give here in the, the Zoom. Okay, so may sumagot. May sumagot. So, si ma'am Zara Nor Daher. So, yeah. Si ma'am Zara Hom Daher. So, ayan. Nag-answer siya, ma'am. So, I don't know if Okay, you got the right answer, Mam Zara. 
Congratulations! Ayan so, so I hope mamit ko sila sa consultation. So this is um our say, saying thank you to them that they attend on the um this webinar tonight. So Miss Frenelin, Miss Shirlyn. All right, Miss Shirlyn. Okay, maybe technical problem with Ms. Shirlyn. So Ms. Frenelin, um, saying thank you to everyone who is joining tonight, spending their time. That was really an informative event. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Ms. Jurevic, Sir Min, and Sir Jekyll. Actually, we are um, doing this because we would like to help the Filipinos to be hassle-free going to their dream country. So if anyone who is watching today via Zoom and on Facebook Live, please do not hesitate to contact us so that we can highly assist you. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a good night. And of course, Miss Christelle, so see you soon, get well soon again. And of course, Sir Jeko. Thank you, everyone, guys. Thank you. Of course, our um, Sir Min. Thank you very much. And hope to see all of uh, our attendees today and the day. Thank you.